Now, first alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Tom Messner. Today may have started sun, sunny, but the wind at Whiteface really picked up. Take a look at this. It led to this whiteout. The snow, of course, is good news for skiers and riders. The visibility, not so good. <laughs> no, not at all. It's the place where we had a wind gust at 70 miles an hour, yeah, so that's not right. ideal for the gondola, just, just so you know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah you know, but it looks like the wind is going to hang in there for a while tonight. We've got that wind advisory officially until 10 o'clock. So gusts in many areas up to 50. We've seen, you know, bigger windstorms than this, but obviously we do have some power issues. So we're not out of the woods just yet. In addition to that, we've got some rain and also some snow. So to Storm Tracker, we will go. I want to start out up in the Northeast Kingdom because we definitely have some snow going on up there right now. Places like Derby and Newport, you could follow this right on out of Orleans County. And then all of a sudden you get towards, say, Highgate into the Champlain Valley from there, and it turns into rain. And this has been rather consistent. We know there have been some snowflakes mixed in with the rain, but mainly rain at the lowest of elevations at the valley floor. So Plattsburgh just to the west of Plattsburgh now over towards, say, Beekman Town. We've got some rain coming down. If you follow this kind of line here as it gets into some elevation, we're finding that it is snow and that's no big surprise just south of Redford and then you can find this kind of curling down into southern Franklin County. So the movement is not hard to see. We had a cold front that came on through and with that Obviously, temperatures going down, but oh man, did the wind pick up. And I don't know if you remember 24 hours ago, we were talking about that coastal system. It's still there, did not affect us really directly very much, but this wind certainly partially a result of what that is all about. All right, so weather headlines for you. It's going to be breezy. It is going to be cooler for the upcoming day tomorrow. You know, high temperatures only 40, 41 or so in the Champlain Valley. And then showers returning by Friday afternoon, showers of rain, and we think some snow. It is, though, going to be warmer by the weekend. So right now this has been just a riot to watch. This is a webcam looking over Burlington here to the north and west. I'm telling you every five minutes, certainly by 10 minutes, it has looked completely different. Look at the clouds. That is nasty looking stuff. That's the rain and the snow we just looked at in northern New York that's going to make its way into Vermont. 44 degrees right in Burlington now, so you can expect that to be mainly rain. But how about some of those wind gusts out there? We talked about the tops of mountains a little bit earlier. Plattsburgh Bay, Cumberland Head, 52 mile an hour wind gust. Newark at 52 along with Burlington, 51 Johnson and Sheldon Junction at about 49. All right, here's the deal tonight. Temperatures going down, not dramatically, but thinking upper 20s, low 30s, and it is going to be windy out there. You know, you get out of the Champlain Valley, maybe dealing with wind gusts to some 50 miles an hour up until 10, 11 o'clock tonight. Tomorrow's going to be a great looking day, quite a bit colder, and the wind not as nasty as it is out there tonight, but still it's going to be, you know, fairly gusty out there. Wind gusts at 30, 35, I think at times, no problems. So we're looking ahead with Futurecast. 8 o'clock tonight, still a few scattered Rain and snow showers, out they go. It's going to be chilly first thing tomorrow morning. Highs only 40, 41 or so. And we see a lot of sunshine on your Thursday. Thursday night, no worries, but Friday things are changing. We've got sun in the morning, clouds then thickening up by later in the day for the evening commute. I think in the valley areas, mainly we're looking at rain showers here, but in the mountains, some snow, at least along the leading edge of the precipitation as it comes in. Forecast for tonight, very windy for some of us. We've got that wind advisory in effect for really everybody except for the Champlain Valley, northern Vermont, and also northern New Hampshire. So we'll take the lows in the 20s tonight, get you going tomorrow under a mostly sunny sky, and it is going to be breezy. We'll call it 41 in Burlington, just 36 St. Johnsbury, but 43 degrees in Springfield. The colder stuff, it's not going to last all that long. We do go from 41 to 46 on Friday. Here come those afternoon showers of rain and also some mountain snow especially. And then on Saturday in the morning, maybe a lingering shower or two. Not expecting much. Otherwise, we've got clouds, a little bit of sunshine, 53. And watch what happens with temperatures. We get into Sunday. That looks now like the pick of the weekend. And then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we think we're going to find some showers around here. We'll see what the temperatures do. The forecast model is kind of struggling here. Assuming we get into the 50s, no problem. It is going to be rain in the valley areas, but maybe in the mountains, some snow from this. So we'll continue to watch that for you. Let's take you out to next Friday, Saturday, a week from two days out and three days out. For what it's worth, guys, <laughs> they look fine.